Hi, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to make a spoon. It's similar to the teaspoon, but it's a bigger one, so we're going to uh, get some differences. Uh, we start with the spoon, with the circle, of course. We switch to 10 vertices, and we sc scale it down a little bit, like that. And then we put it somewhere in the center, it's much easier to work with. Okay, good. We go from object mode to edit mode and we use the edge selection. Right click on that one, shift right click on that one, and shift right click on that one. We enlarge it uh, a, well, somewhere between half and a third. Right click on that one, right click on that one, right click on that one, and we bring it back to the center line. We right click on that one, alt right click to select the whole thing. Okay, that's good. And we use ES to scale it down uh, something like oh, for instance that one ES again why we do it in separate steps is because we want to uh, get rid of a flat side underneath okay we uh, put in 3 degrees 30 degrees so now we're going to fill that up and we're going to selection mode vertex right click on that one shift right click on that one and pressing f right click on that one shift right click on that one pressing f right click on that one right click on that one and pressing f and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to select these edges right click on that one shift right click shift right click shift right click shift right click and we go to if you don't have that menu, menu, you press T to get to the menu, then scroll from Tools, Downsize to Add, where you have Subdivide. And this Subdivide divides every part uh, selected in two. Thus we go to Edge Mode, right click on that one, Shift right click on that one, and we're pressing F, F to close, right click, right click, right click, right click, with Shift and hold it, press F and it's closed. Same on the other side right click shift right click f f and close right click right click right click right click f closed now we're going to add a line over here also let's right click right click f and uh, oh no this is not important we, we don't need it we're going to delete it uh, let's select that one f we're going to um, use these let we go to uh, edit mode uh, sorry, vertige dim uh, selection, shift that one, pressing F, F again, right click, right click, right click, right click, F again, right click, right click, F, F, right click, shift right click, right shift right click, shift right click, F. Okay, good. Now we are going to lower it down and we start over here by uh, selecting faces. This, we select every face we want we select first and we scale them down like this uh, shift select the rest and we scale them down again a bit like this and we choose shift select these ones and go more down so we get a nice spoon look um, select these a few times it's more depending what you want uh, how it looks this is all the personal and we're going to select these also a little bit more you can do it the way around and the only thing now left is the vertice in the middle right click on that one shift right click on that one. shift right click on that one we're going to lower that also a little bit and there is only one left the one in the middle right click on that one and your spoon is approximately ready good now we go to edge selection mode right click on that one and we're going to enlarge them in x direction that's e x and we make it something like like that we're pressing S Y to shrink it down 
because I want a small handle. And we enlarge by pressing EX again. And we make this one very large over here and pressing E A again to make it bigger. Okay. You can adjust it a little later or no problem. Uh, we're going to hit the large M again. E Y and uh, E X, sorry, and something like this by pressing S Y to shrink it down a little bit. Okay, good. If the spoon, if this is not good enough, no problem. You can select B, drag left mouse click, right mouse click, and enlarge it a little bit. This normal spoon looks uh, much longer. Uh, we go to object mode to move it a little bit around. So uh, now uh, we're going to add uh, a few other things. Um, first of all, we go to tool, add modifier solidity. This is where we can put in some thickness of the spoon. And we're going to enlarge it like that. Say for instance 0 0.7. Okay. Uh, I want it on the inside or outside. You can switch. This is inside. This is outside. I choose inside. I leave it that way. Now I'm going to add another modifier and this is called subdivision surface. And we're going to put that at 3, 4. Yeah, this is good. It's well nice. Yeah. Um, but I don't press anything for the moment. So. Uh, we go back to edit mode and we're going to adjust a few things. I want that here uh, larger, so uh, I'm going to select edges uh, or vertices, right click on that one, pressing B and drag to that one and press S uh, Y, I think, yeah, to make it a little more bigger. Yeah, that's rather nice. Um, select that edge over there pressing B to select that and I want this to be S Y same you can enlarge it or you can make it smaller like like that you see this is a more important to what every what you like or what you don't like I don't know and I'm going to change that one also over here so, so right click on that one sorry uh, vertex selection right click on the vertex that is underneath I'm going to press B and select that one and we do the same as Y. So you see, you can make it larger or smaller. It's more, uh, I'm preferring more smaller ones. Yeah, uh, it's looking rather good. Now, uh, to come back, we're going to now bend it. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend it over here. If you don't see it, no problem. Delete that one. It's not important for the moment. Uh, we're going to use the selection tool and we press selection vertices. We select the vertices over there. Press up. Ah, one thing important. One thing important is select here visible and invisible. Always invisible in that point. Pressing B, left mouse click to there. We select that one over here like this. And now uh, we go to mode one in my case, uh, where we are going to uh, see what's going on. I'm going to add the modifier again subdivision surface and put it at 4 so we can see a uh, more natural uh, way and we scroll down you see the he's bended over here and we're going to make a turn an R turn like that this is too much the bending so we come back a little bit you see and the spoon is ready so now we go to object mode and we're going to apply and we're going to apply so now you have made a spoon looking rather nice if you like my channel please uh, subscribe thank you for watching